Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be going over some simple stretches and exercises you can do to help relieve any back tension you've been feeling lately. We will start with some pre-stretches, followed by three exercises, and then finish up with some cool down stretches. First, I'm starting with simple head rolls in both directions, bringing my chin down to my chest, ear to my shoulder, and back around. I am clasping my hands and bringing myself up and over to the side, both left and right, doing a small twist to either side. And then I'm curving my chest inward and bringing my hands behind me to push my chest outward, really just trying to go through all the ranges of motions of the spine. Simply clasping your hands behind your back may be enough to feel a stretch opening the shoulders and the chest, but if you can, try to lift the hands up, that will give you a deeper stretch. We will avoid tilting the pelvis forward or back, really just trying to stay neutral over our hips. Some simple shoulder rolls back. Now we will go into a deeper spinal twist. I'm putting one leg over the other and I'm scooching my hips over to the side of the leg that I have on top. That way my back stays straight and I'm feeling a deep stretch in my spine. As I breathe, I'm trying to bring my shoulder down to the floor, deepening with every breath. And now onto the exercises. The first pose will be held for 30 seconds. For those of you who practice yoga, we will start in a cobra pose. I'm keeping my shoulders down and elbows close to my body and trying to bring my chest upwards. I am not tilting my head backwards or looking down. I'm trying to keep my gaze forward and up and bring my chest upwards. And lastly, I lift my hands. Let's go. To stretch out, I'm straightening my arms and pressing down at the base of my fingers where my fingers join the palm. I'm trying to keep my shoulders down and back, not tilt my head back or sink down. I'm engaging, lifting up. This would be close to upward dog, however, for upward dog, you really want your shoulders to be directly over the wrists. Going into the second exercise, which is also a hold, we will clasp our hands behind our back and try to lift up. It's okay if you feel like your chest doesn't rise very much. We will lift the legs and hold for 30 seconds. I'm stretching this last exercise out in child's pose. Take a couple nice deep breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
And now onto the third exercise, the last one, but the hardest. I am intertwining my fingers behind my head, but I'm not putting downward pressure on my skull. I'm keeping my chest up and elbows wide and fluttering my feet as if I am swimming. Let's go. We made it. Time for some cool down stretches. I start with child's pose, which helps me regain my breath. Also stretches my glutes, hip flexors, knees, and spine. And then I move into cat and cow pose. In yoga, this tends to be more static with just movement in the spine, curving and rounding. However, I feel like I get more of a stretch when I move. Be gentle and do what feels good for your body. Move slowly, your back just went through a lot. Here, I'm just sticking my pillow under my hip bones and moving my hips side to side. This helps me to release tension in my lower back. Because there's natural curvature in the spine, just simply laying back on a flat surface may feel good to your back. Take a moment to breathe consciously. Deep breath in and out. And next, I will move into a wind relieving pose. This pose helps improve digestion and stretches the lower back and lengthens the spine. I'm imagining as if I'm standing on the ground, which means I'm engaging the bottom leg. Then I bring my upper leg over for a gentle spinal twist. And don't forget about the other side. This figure four stretch helps to stretch out my lower back and my hips. I'm engaging the leg that's crossing over and making the four shape by keeping the foot flexed in order to protect the knee. For this stretch, I'll stack the shins so that they're parallel and lean forward with a straight back. And when you're ready, release forward. And now for the hardest stretch, camel pose. If this is too difficult, you can keep your hands on your lower back, but if you wanna challenge yourself, bring your hands to your ankles and try to bring your chest up, looking up. You don't want to go back or forward. Just really try to work to bring your hips over your knees. And you're done. Thanks for watching. Feel free to take and leave exercises and stretches to make a routine that works best for you. Bye!